First of all, thank you for watching the video so far. As you've seen, recently I've been to the beautiful city of Lisbon in Portugal and I hope you liked the video. If you did so, you can always leave me a thumbs up. Actually, I had some friends ask me what gear I brought with me to the trip because I already showed them beforehand what photos and videos I took there. So first of all, what bag did I bring with me? And the bag that I brought with me is this bag from Walton Craft. This is the 7 liter version of the bag. Um, they also have a bigger one and a smaller one as well and I mainly chose this bag because it doesn't scream camera bag but also it holds up really well in bad weather conditions. Um, there was one day in Milan where the rain was pouring on us and luckily the bag didn't let any of that rain inside the camera bag but also this bag is really easy to open and to close. Um, not that anyone can steal your stuff you actually have to open it this way and then you can close it the same way. So everything stays protected in there. Let me show you the inside of the bag as well. Maybe you can see that I divided the main compartment of the bag into three sections. And this is mainly because in the middle I had my Sony a7 IV with the Sigma 35mm f2 and a ND filter as well. On the one side I had my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 with one or two accessories and on the other side I had my Ricoh GR3 with some spare batteries. So why did I bring these three cameras with me? I used my Sony mainly for taking videos and since I only had a prime lens on there I mapped a custom button to crop into APS-C mode so I could turn my 35mm into a 50mm lens and occasionally I took off the ND filter and took some photos with it as well. But my main photo camera was the Ricoh GR3 with its 28mm focal length which is a wider field of view than my Sony. So I had a 28, a 35 and a 50mm for taking photos. For video I also had my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 which I mainly use for taking videos of myself or when I was walking around the city. And the DJI has a 20mm lens which is really nice since I couldn't zoom out with my 35mm on my Sony camera. So as I said, I'd be really happy if you could leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as some of you might know, I'm a professional photographer and a videographer as well. And I often work in a studio environment, so I took some behind the scenes content of that as well. So stay tuned for that. 